Hi guys, I'm Lynn. And I'm Mariella. And today we are going to explain two very interrelated concepts, um, indicators and behavior graphs. So first of all, what indicators are? They're basically going to be things that help you better understand the trends that are going on in your respective global issue. So for example, if we take deforestation and we observe it from the nature perspective, then we'll see that an indicator perhaps could be the number of acres of forest that are cut down each year. It's basically a quantity. And yet, when you're thinking of indicators, you don't actually have to go out and measure this quantity. It's just a value that a variable that helps you better understand the trends that are going on in your issue. To further demonstrate this, Marielle will explain behavior graphs, which are basically indicators represented in graph form. Now, what Lynn has actually mentioned is that indicators would actually be the dependent variable or the y-axis of this entire graph, while the x-axis would be the time. Now, we have three times that we would want you guys to focus on. First is the past, then the present, and finally, the future. So what's important about this is what you're going to do is you're going to be examining your indicator and the trends of your indicator by, by considering the past, the present, and the future. So what first you're going to be thinking about is the current state of your indicator, the current condition of your indicator, and what situation it is at at this point. Now, if you, for instance, believe that it is, it is in a very bad situation, you would graph it right here, or rather plot it right here, such that the y-axis represents um, the measure of how good or how bad the indicator is at, at the point. Now, then you would consider, based on your research, on how you felt that the indicator was in the past, and you would graph it. For instance, if you felt that the indicator was at a better situation in the past, you would graph it here, such that it is higher than its present condition. And then you think about the future. Again, this is just um, a guesstimate in, in a sense. It's not something that should that is exactly accurate, but something that is definitely based on your research and based on what you believe um, um, the indicator is actually heading toward based on the trends. And so if you believe that the indicator, it will actually get better, you place your plot over here. If you believe that it will slightly get better, but not enough, you put it over here. But if you believe that it will get even worse, then you plot that over here. But this is, of course, considering what the y-axis actually is. For example, if this was the number of forests still remaining in the world. In the past, there were a lot of forests. For example, the y-axis would have the number of acres of forest that still remain in the world. Thank you putting it there. Yep. And then, um, so in the past we have it as plenty of forests. That's why the indicator is very high. And then the number of forests has decreased exponentially and it continues to do so until there are barely any forests left. And there, thus, looking at this graph, conclusively we can say that the trend is very disappointing. Thank you.